Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I went to the food bank, got lots of good things. Let's just get right into it, okay? We got a, one box of cereal, honey bunches of oats, one bag of goldfish crackers, a bag full of yellow onions, it looks like. <clears throat> they gave me two of these. I was excited. These are like, Cody really enjoyed them. Uh, Last month, we still have a few in the freezer, so I'm just going to stick these in the freezer. She just will take out one or two, and it's a nice little treat, and why not, you know? They are pumpkin spice cake balls. Mitch and I actually split a half one. To me, they are way too sweet, but, you know, I guess Blair did once in a while, and Cody really liked them. And I was super excited. They had these and cookies, and Lily's like, you can have two. So, okay, got those. <clears throat> one box of raspberry sugar-free jello. One box of this uh, pizza crust mix I've never seen before, but I'm ex super excited. The box is like really beat up, but oh well. It'll be exciting to make a pizza crust. It only has one net carb, so that's cool. Tomato paste. Three cans of chicken. Look, I got chicken pizza right here. <laughs> Minus that. Move that. Chicken pizza. Six cans of chili. Six cans of this Mountain Dew Zero Sugar. <clears throat> so, I had gotten these drinks off the shelf. Uh, tropical Cherry and Cranberry Citrus. I thought those would be nice. And as I was turning the corner to go down the next aisle, he was coming out, one of the volunteers stocking the shelves and had cases of the soda. And I looked, oh, can I get one of those? And he goes, you can have some, but you can have a whole case. And I was like, okay. And he's like, how many, you know, you can have four cans. And I was like, okay. And he goes, unless you have a big family. And I said, well, there's three of us. And he goes, you can have six cans. So I was excited about that. Because <laughs> uh, Mountain Dew is one of Mitch's favorite sodas, if y'all didn't know that. We all like it, but it's his absolute favorite. All right. And then we got two dozen eggs today. Usually it's one. So I was super happy for that. We eat a lot of eggs in our house. And they had cheese. Eggs and cheese. This is like... A staple in our house we eat eggs and cheese almost every single day and so I was excited to get two pounds of cheese and two dozen eggs I also got a jar of peanut butter four bottles of water um, a jar of Frank's red hot dill pickle never heard of it but it sounds really good I'm thinking it was some chicken maybe I got two of these Dannon Light and Fit Zero Sugar, I believe it's just a drinkable yogurt, strawberry banana, and what is this one? Vanilla. Got some pre-made sandwiches that look really yummy. Another little pre-made sandwich, a mesquite turkey and Colby. Probably just going to pull the meat and cheese off and eat that. And then this egg, sausage, potatoes, and cheese burrito from Home Chef. That looks so good. Two things of heavy whipping cream. And then this giant thing of cottage cheese. I debated, like, do I get it? Do I get it? Do I get it? I don't know. I don't know. It's a lot of cottage cheese. I'm thinking it'll be good. So I'm going to put it in my fridge. And fingers crossed it's tasty and not rotten. And if it isn't, and it is tasty and it's good, then I'm going to probably eat some and make a whole bunch of cottage cheese chips. <laughs> because I don't want it to go bad. That's like five pounds. Yeah, five pounds of cottage cheese. So hopefully that is good. All right, I'm going to hurry and get all this cold stuff put away and get to the rest of it. All right, on to the meat. Meat, glorious, glorious meat. Oh, my gosh. That's one of the reasons I went today was to hopefully get some good meat. Okay, so... There was a box full of meat, and he said, you can grab three out of there. So I got this one, which is boneless, skinless breast strips, another boneless, skinless breast strips, and I thought this was also boneless, skinless breast strips, but it's actually boneless, skinless thighs. So I've actually never, I know this is going to seem crazy, other than a whole chicken, I've never purchased or used like thigh meat. So throw some recipes in my comments what you would use this thigh meat for. I'm thinking maybe like like tacos or fajitas. I don't know. And so, I mean, to use it just like you would use a breast. Not trying to be stuck up, but you know, we're white meat. We like the white meat. 
I don't know. I'm already probably sounding terrible. Just forget I said any of that and leave your recipes below that you would use these yummy chicken thighs for. And then um, a bag of this uh, sockeye salmon, individually wrapped. I would like recipes for that as well. I know I could Google search, but you guys have probably already tried a recipe and love it. And I don't want to just experiment with something and waste food that is nobody's going to eat it. So if you have a really good recipe for salmon or thighs, please leave those in my comments. I would love to try something that you guys have already tried and love. I also got two packs of bison patties which is buffalo meat for those who don't know um so there's four buffalo burgers that'll make a yummy dinner super excited for that and then i got two beef roast so mm, i am i'm so hungry i'm so hungry i hate i hate going when i'm hungry and today i went later than i normally went usually i go early in the morning but i went around 9 30 and i barely got home and it's almost one o'clock so um, I'm going to get these in the freezer and find me something to eat. I do have this grab bag I'm going to hurry and open and show you, but i got to get this meat put away first. So give me just one second. All right. It's been a while since I've seen the grab bags. I picked this grab bag because this is all you see is like this. And you got to pick one. And I picked this one because of this little cup of Velveeta. Um, Cody really likes it. But when we make a box, a lot of it goes to waste because it's, it's not good leftovers. This is not a good leftover. If you eat it fresh, it's delicious, but we don't want all the carbs. I figure that's a single serving. So that's why I got this bog. This bog. This bog. So let's see what else we got. All right. It looks like a fruit cup. Uh, fruit cocktail with the cherries in it. Um, and this is... Sky Flakes Crackers. Never heard of it. I'm assuming it's just like a cracker. Maybe it's like a graham cracker. That's a lot of calories for just a cracker. Hmm. It doesn't really have any other thing on it to tell me about it. I mean, it has those letters, but I don't know what that means. Sky Flakes? <laughs> Alright. Ritz Cheese Crackers. Um, looks like we've got a thing of snack pack chocolate and vanilla pudding. Looking good, okay. A thing of Cool Ranch Doritos. Another bag of Cool Ranch Doritos. Yummy treats. Okay, we have a cup of noodles. Chicken flavor, that's good. Chicken flavor is also a favorite in this house. And a chicken ramen. This is what we usually buy just because it's cheaper. But this is good. Like, if we didn't have time to pack dinner and we were at dance, you could just have this and throw water in it and microwave it. And they do have a microwave at the dance studio, so that's good. Another Sky Flakes crackers. Am I saying that right? Yeah, Sky Flakes. Ooh, peanut butter to go. This is a staple at our house as well. Let me show you. See, we have it. Tons of them. They're really good with apples. Cody likes to dip apples or carrots in that peanut butter. All right. Hopefully you didn't get too dizzy there. Oh, look. There's three. Beautiful. Three of those gifts. Three, three. And then a little container of Chef Boy Artie Beef Ravioli. Another great dance dinner. Sometimes I don't feel like making something. That would be super easy. Ooh, what's this? Slapjack Wild Tuna. Yum. And another Slapjack Wild Tuna. Beautiful. All right. So that is what was in our grab bag. And I say not a bad grab bag. That's what I'm saying. I mean, that's pretty good. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you guys are having a wonderful day. If you need help finding a food bank near you, comment below your state and I'll, or city and I will see what I can figure out or message me privately if you want um, on Can Dance Brewer on uh, Facebook or I'm trying to think how else you can get in touch with me. I guess you could message me on Instagram, Can Dance Brewer. I don't check it too often, but I will try. <laughs> And yeah, I'll see if I can help you find a place if you're in need. This, this food is out there for people 
who need help or need a little bit of extra to help them get through. And otherwise, it's going to go in the garbage. This tuna is past its date, but I'm pretty sure it's still good. So, yeah. All right, guys. <laughs> it's late. I'm hungry. I'm going to let you go. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Be kind to yourself, okay? Be kind to yourself and be kind to others. And I will see you in my next video.